We're at 1776 Main Street in Santa Monica, California. And yes, you do see a mushroom cloud behind me made up of giant chain links. This is the home of the Rand Corporation complex, the most important and powerful globalist think tank in the world. Dr. Strangelove, the Stanley Kubrick film made in the early 1960s, is about this organization. They developed the plan of mutually assured destruction against the Russians. They developed uh, mid-air refueling. They developed uh, systems analysis. They developed the futurist paradigms of the Pentagon. They developed the transhumanist ideas or, or repackaged the transhumanist ideas of Aldous Huxley. These guys are the ones that put out public reports 15 years ago. It's how I knew what was going to unfold about how they were going to militarize police, how they were going to federalize police, how they would build threat fusion centers, how the system would set up a homeland security grid under NORTHCOM with uh, federal command bases used to spy on the citizenry. They write big reports on how to manipulate people through financial systems and how to sell them on tyranny individually. And they have the nerve in all of their nomenclature to obsess on the Founding Fathers in 1776 and freedom and the rest of it when the Rand Corporation is the exact opposite. And no other group has their documents taken by the Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg Group, CFR, and then put into policy like this organization. The Rand Corporation is at the heart of the New World Order. It's part of that inner coterie, or almost a group of uh, ring wraith organizations that serve uh, this dark system. And uh, the Rand Corporation, literally, if you research the white papers they put out that are public, has set the policy that we are now living under in this country. And they have the uh, nerve to uh, you know, you know, locate themselves, get the street named. 1776. It is just, just mind-blowing that they get away with these type of things. Uh, what was it? A year ago we interviewed Alex Abeyam, the only researcher to ever be allowed access. They liked some of the pre previous books he'd written, and so they gave him unfettered access to their archives, and he came away with their own documents that they have an open plan for a corporate fascist world government society with the mega corporations ruling over the planet and that they develop the PR systems and the economic models to get the population to go along with it. So again, I'm Alex Jones reporting from Southern California, from uh, the heart of the New World Order, the Rand Corporation that has offices all over the world where they get the best and brightest minds, many of them don't even know what they're working on, to give them specific answers to questions uh, that are then farmed out to other think tanks. But uh, you can't say they run it all, but if there's one one think tank that that ha has been more influential than any other, it is this one right here in Southern California. And just think about the symbolism that they would build a mushroom cloud. Oh, we got a helicopter coming over. Let's get that. They came up with a plan for SWAT teams. Uh, under Daryl Gates more than 30 years ago, special weapons attack teams, the public name is special weapons and tactics, uh, to militarize police. They've, they've developed the drug war program, uh, of course, where the government ships in the narcotics and then wages war against their competition and packs the prisons themselves owned, the private prisons by the big mega banks who launder the money with people working as slave labor for 25 cents an hour, displacing everyone else's job. The, the list goes on and on. And at prisonplanet.tv, we have that key hour-long interview where I sent my crew here to California to interview him, Alex Abea, where he was allowed in and got their information. And I've talked to a lot of other filmmakers and researchers that have tried to get in here over the years. They failed. And again, they liked some of the previous books Abea had written. They misjudged and miscalculated. And uh, his work is so incredibly important. So again, if you want to understand the New World Order, if you want to understand the people that are engineering our society, you need to understand the Rand Corporation. And we covered it at the people's open source resistance, infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv, and prisonplanet.com. Please spread the word about the important work we're doing because more and more censorship, more and more manipulation is taking place. We are being targeted because we have reverse engineered the globalist paradigm of control.
is now coming to a head. And at this critical juncture in history, they do not want you aware of what's happening because they say that those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. If we do know history, if we do know what's happening, if we do have knowledge, we will not repeat it. We will not perish. Again, I'm Alex Jones reporting from the front lines of the Info War. show you some of the chains here in the light and before last time we were here they didn't have these fences up when you guys were here to interview a bay this wasn't here correct yeah it was not here they now say danger do not enter do not touch or climb and obviously you could see how it's dangerous you stick your fingers in there and fall and break them off giant chains that they want to put us under Absolutely, and they use the threat of the nukes. They set up the continuity of agenda system. They said, we'll set up a continuity of agenda system where we take the power from Congress away and give it to the executive. It's self-controlled by major corporations. Again, I told you, you've got to research them. It goes on and on and on. And now COG has been used to set up Northcom, Homeland Security, and Congress wants the Northcom documents, and Homeland Security won't even give it to them. They've turned our Congress into a ceremonial, vestigial joke. Again, it's incredible. Research it.